Hi, for, uh, welcome back to this uh, to the broadcast uh, Yahweh's Renaissance Ministry. This is the current events analysis part of the broadcast. So I'm gonna kind of recap the last couple weeks or so. Got a little backed up, but um, I like to you know kind of start start off simple. You know, I find that the news and cartoons, which in this case is from the U.S. News and World Report website. Uh, provides a you know a nice little simplistic snapshot um, of of recent events, so and you know it's obviously entertaining to some extent, but it I find it very interesting uh, the the way that things are portrayed in in these little very simplistic fashion. It really says a lot. It's amazing what you can say in with one image or you know one set a dialogue in the image or whatever the case but i'm just going to kind of kind of go through this and then we're going to go into um another part of this this segment so so chinese spy balloons say cheese i don't know yeah that happened recently the chinese spy balloon got shot down joe biden classified documents haunting him little nightmare so what do we have here? We have the Earth's core stop spinning. I blame the vaccine. Just kidding. Everyone knows the Earth is flat. Trump JFK Jr. 2020, 2024. 2024. Hmm. Yeah, you know, with somebody with the Q to Q and the whole, you know, obviously making fun of the people that are considered conspiracy theorists and all this stuff. So save the whales. Sorry, whales. It's in the Oh, no. Oh, this is all your fault. Biden deficit spend, Trump deficit spend, and debt ceiling. I don't know. National debt. Let's brag about infrastructure. Yeah, let's let's brag about that. Woke black parent. Another beetle. Please beating. Interesting. I think we are losing our focus. I think I missed something. I guess these, um, what do they call them, the uh, propellers or whatever, windmill generators. They have quite a few um, all throughout Rhode Island. That's where I live, so I'm pretty familiar with them. I, I don't, honestly, I didn't think they were some kind of malevolent thing. I, you know, they're kind of an eyesore, but seem pretty straightforward but who knows maybe they're somehow killing some species somewhere in, in the ocean I, I really don't know but president biden has gone blank days without saying anything stupid zero days <laughs> i'm sorry i haven't really heard much from biden i don't know about everybody else but i, I kind of enjoy that i i think less is more with him is um or, or less is better with him, I guess you could say. I want war. There we go. Biden wants war. So it's in Biden says everything's better. Everything costs an arm and an egg. Yeah, I haven't noticed because I don't go shopping, but I guess eggs are extremely expensive right now, which is pretty crazy to think about. Maybe no one will notice. Baggage. Trunk. Santos. Yeah, this whole thing with the Santos guy, I really don't know. I, I haven't really been following him. I'm not really interested. Frank Del Delano Biden, aid the Ukraine, NATO, COVID, whatever. Show fiscal response over there goes the global financial system. It could, could happen. There are standards to maintain this town, Santos. Yep. Pants on fire, I guess. I need to find someone to blame for my document scandal. Hunter. No, it seems that like China is rather fond of him. Funny. I don't know. Whatever. So I just want to go back. Let me see. Let me get back to. Yeah, I think I'm just going to. I don't know. I'll check out a few more. Yeah, there's just one more set here. 
I'd like to kind of ease into current events analysis because it's a, a pretty heavy topic. I mean, every day there's something else, some crazy thing that happens. Some somebody goes in, shoots up an entire supermarket or school or movie theater, or you know, some war breaks out in in some part of the world, and some nightmare crisis happens somewhere. It's just ongoing it's an endless onslaught i mean it's kind of traumatizing to listen to news too often unfortunately i i can't stop wanting to pay attention to what's happening in the world so all right if a tree falls in the forest and no one is there to hear it doesn't make a sound does it lift <laughs> just why well, i didn't i don't know he's a scary guy Allow me to assure the American people that I have nothing but the most honorable towards the hen house. GOP. Hmm. Social Security is the hen house. Slowing down a little inflation. We just... It is true. I mean, inflation is coming down a bit. I mean, not over dramatically. It's definitely coming down a bit by the... You know, do you call it the by the hand of the all powerful almighty federal reserve i don't know but i mean they're definitely doing a number on on this country i mean the federal reserve's rate hikes over the last year uh, going you know a few more months will be going into like a year and a half time frame which it sounds like they're going to continue to raise rates and in, into june this year supposedly hopefully maybe they stop in june i mean they're only raising rates right now incrementally so last year around this time i mean they started making pretty sharp moves so it was more like march that time period but you know 75 basis points versus currently with the last one and it was 25 basis points off the top of my head but which is affecting you know rates all all, all across the board you know mortgage rates or you know rates on car loans or Whatever it is, you know, rates for corporations and on loans to corporations, things of that nature. I mean, it, it's affecting everything. And the whole idea is it's the idea is to tighten the monetary supply, which is affecting America. But because America sets the precedent for the rest of the world, it's affecting the rest of the world. And all the other central banks are following suit. And it's a global tightening process that's happening right now to technically induce a recession which could plummet the world into a global recession potentially is is what's at stake here so you know it's a fine line but federal reserve had you know jay powell the chairman of the federal reserve said recently he made comments saying that we're in a, the disinflationary Part of the process which you know inflation is technically coming down from its recent extreme high uh, last I don't know, october november so it is definitely creeping back down but the federal reserve continues to raise rates so it's gonna affect everybody's bottom line this is what it what it comes down to so is the stock market going to crash into oblivion who knows but right now it's really about uh, corporate profits i mean if corporate earnings remain strong that will help prop up the market uh, in the country as a whole technically speaking uh, but if earnings come in soft uh, lower than expected then that will definitely tank the market and it's that could be a problem i mean there's already been Tens of thousands of people laid off in the tech industry and in other industries as well. Uh, mortgage industry right now is completely paralyzed. I mean, I don't know anybody that's going out and getting a, a mortgage at six and a half, six and a half or seven percent, which is kind of ridiculous. But anyway, you know, just wanted to put that out there. Turkey, Syria, earthquake death toll tops twelve thousand. It's very, very sad. I mean, my brother's wife comes from Turkey, so. Very, very sad. State of the Union is strong. 
I mean, the economy technically, I mean, as far as the labor force is strong, definitely strong right now. So the State of the Union, I go ahead to <laughs> Biden 22, shoot it down. I don't know. Some of these things are funny. I mean, I've just shown this to to share this. I mean, I I like I'll read anything from you know mainstream media, alternative media, news and cartoons. Um, I'm gonna go into the next segment shortly. That is more of a biblical analysis of current events. So I I just find things like this pretty interesting it gives it captures what's on everybody's mind these editorial cartoons a lot of the time and it's it's pretty interesting i mean some people have some pretty interesting insight and they're able to to say something in a very sh abbreviated fashion brevity is the soul of wit hamlet so it, it is true You're right to the point so <laughs> it's funny spy versus spy <laughs> China still insists these balloons are for meteorological purposes only. That's funny. If I didn't try, I hate reruns. Yeah, I mean, it looks like I mean, Trump is definitely running 2024. That's my understanding. So that should be interesting. I mean, I don't know how. I mean, Biden has some footing, technically speaking. I mean, the labor force is strong. I mean, there are. Definitely plenty of jobs to go around and plenty of people that are employed. And I mean, technically speaking, I mean, he could hang his hat on that at least. But, you know, I mean, otherwise he's a complete and total nightmare. Why is he in here with us? He owns the house health care's future. Interesting. Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm sure about what that you know, something to do with the Catholic Church. That's funny. Here's the here's the plan. We break into the bank, then tunnel over to the grocery store, and then pull off a, the egg heist. Awesome. <laughs> I I had no idea. I mean, I've heard that eggs are extremely expensive right now. I just haven't seen it for myself because I normally don't go shopping. But impose a threat. That's funny. Yeah, I'm not gonna read every single. Wow. Yeah, home prices. Uh, lower GOP approved school library. <laughs> anyway, that just throwing that out there. I wanted to go into the news and cartoons. So we'll see you see you back shortly. We're gonna gonna analyze things from a biblical perspective, which is definitely more more important. Hi, welcome back to the broadcast. I am broadcasting from Rogues Island, Rhode Island. Sorry. Um. So this is the a biblical perspective of current events analysis by way of the cuttingedge.org website that I, I oftentimes focus in on in this particular segment. Uh, so this is a, a newsletter, which I strongly advise people uh, signing up, up for. So cuttingedge.org, you can go on the website. I know the past are from really really long time ago at this point about 25 years ago i, I was i went to that church so um it's a baptist church in warwick Rhode island where i met the pastor and then he moved to south carolina i believe um so so i'm just gonna breeze through um and feel free to sign up for this newsletter it's excellent just you know looking at things from a biblical perspective kind of like putting putting on biblical glasses to view the world and, you know, this is a Baptist-oriented ministry, but I feel that, you know, fundamentalist Baptist traditions are, you know, allies, very, very, very strong allies, people that believe in the literal interpretation of Scripture. So we're just going to go through, and, and uh, you know, obviously a lot of people have seen a lot of crazy things happening with the school system, public schools. I used to work in the public schools and i left and have never turned back and i think it's an absolute nightmare cesspool and it's just getting worse and you're obviously here on a regular basis about teachers that 
you know, crossed the line with their students and they got in trouble, ended up being arrested and ended up in prison. And it's really crazy, really, really crazy. The kind of things. I mean, I definitely witnessed some things when I was working in the school system and rather unfortunate events or whatever, or just heard a lot of just bad, very bad things. So America is literally normalizing pedophilia when in the war against America's children of all the shared values. Americans have held sacred over the centuries. One of the most has been the conviction that our children are precious and innocent, innocent, literally a gift from the most high. So then they're being systematically sexualized in government, public school classrooms and after school support clubs for LGBTQ, etc. So, you know, if there's a, serious indoctrination problem happening in schools and whether it's it's alternative lifestyles or just you know environmentalists kind of brainwashing oriented material i don't know it's it's really unfortunate and it's it's very difficult to be a believer um, and go to public schools at this point i don't know why you would want to do that but a lot of times people don't have the choice you know maybe it's a single mother that work in two jobs and they she has no choice but to let her children go to school and they're unfortunately subjected to all kinds of strange information and anti-biblical concepts and evolutionism and just it's really i don't know it's 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 sad very, very sad. Uh, let us not forget pedophile Catholic priests have been ravaging young children for over a century now. Oh, it's very, very, very sad. California has become a predator's paradise. I'm not sure I'd have to go back and read through that. I, I know there's a lot of Liberal policies being implemented in places like California. Um, there's a lot of conservative people in California, but it's also turning into a, uh, or it's been very much a liberal cesspool, and especially in the big cities, uh, rampant drug and, and uh, you know sexual abuse going on in, in the streets and and homeless camps all over the place, and it's become very dangerous and. And polluted too. I mean, people are just urinating, defecating all over the place. It doesn't matter. I mean, just really turning into a disaster. Places like L.A. and San Fran, and it's just it's sad. But Governor Newsom has led the way, and this man wants to become president. I don't know. In Memphis, Tennessee, five black policemen beat another black man to death. Jeez. Campaign to dismantle and our handicapped pol police is strengthened. Our food processing capability took another hit when a huge chicken egg facility was burned quite massively. Massive fire sweeps U.S. egg farm. Estimated 100,000 chickens destroyed. That's awful. Awful. Yeah, I mean, being hit to whatever extent, so... I'm not shocked to hear all these things coming to fruition, but you know we need to remain strong in the faith. And I mean, if we this country turns into a total cesspool, which it's turning into a total cesspool to whatever extent, then you know at least we have our faith to protect us. You know, put on the armor of Elohim from Ephesians. So, So, for Yahweh had put in their hearts to fulfill his will and to agree to act on and give their kingdom unto the beast, unto the words of Elohim, until the words of Elohim shall be fulfilled. Right. So, I mean, this is just the acting out of the time of the Gentiles, and the, we're living in the latter days. And these are things that have been forecasted from ancient times and ancient prophecies about you know that as it was in the days of lot so shall it be with the coming of the son of man and the lgbtq explosion explosion everywhere uh, is just another example of that
Finally, after tracking a Chinese surveillance balloon drone for seven days and over four, the Pentagon says it shot it down. What is the likely outcome? Ted Cruz says Biden didn't have guts to down CCP if not seen by public, and Z damn well knows it. Okay. I don't know. I There's a lot of trivial events that happen in the world. I try to focus on the bigger picture. You know, obviously, China-Taiwan conflict is a serious problem, and it's going to have a dramatic impact on a lot of other things, especially stock market is not going to enjoy that roller coaster ride. After last year, with the whole Russia-Ukraine influence compounded with the perfect storm of Fed rate hikes and and COVID aftermath, so I mean it's pretty severe. I mean things are kind of fragile right now in the in the economy, but still there's underlying elements that are very strong with the economy. So you know I guess at least that's in in place, and we're not going to plummet into a deep depression, which doesn't seem likely at all but if there was some kind of global nuclear war and global economic collapse i mean that's that's a problem so but just stay strong and be believers i mean no matter what happens we have eternal life in the the messiah by believing in him what would this chinese balloon seen on our truck across our fruit of plan that chinese spy balloon and what it saw i don't know hey not really too interested or I care too much about that particular situation. Might this surveillance balloon simply be precursor to an attack on the American mainland? <clears throat> Chinese spy balloon targeting U.S. Missile, missile fields. Now, that's definitely more interesting to think about in terms of what what that's all about. So, Russia and Iran continue working together to form a military partnership, just as Ezekiel 3839 foretold 2,500 years ago. So produce 6,000 new fast kamikaze super drones. Interesting. As crime continues to skyrocket, Americans have demonstrated, have demonstrated their core belief the more citizens who own guns, the safer our streets, businesses, and homes will become. I absolutely believe that. More guns, not fewer, key to safer streets. Absolutely. I think it's just really important. I, I have a, a shotgun in my home. Um, it's not a double barrel, just a single barrel, um, 20 gauge Mossberg uh, shotgun, which my wife bought for me. And it's I'm, I use it for home protection. I haven't needed to use it. Uh, my next door neighbor, who's a former deputy police chief at one of the bigger cities in Rhode Island, North Providence, he he said it's perfect, you know, for home protection. So I said, yeah, I mean, that's what I technically use it for. I think we all should be able to, to have, you know, a weapon on us at all times, no matter where we go. You know, that would solve a lot of problems, I think. You know, people being attacked or raped or whatever, if they at least have the chance to protect themselves real quick, then, you know, they can, uh, you know, get get away from these these crazy people that are out there. So, but a number one, I think you protect your start with your family, protect your family, your home and then your town and then your state and then, you know, your country and it goes from there. So. You know, I think it all starts starts in the home. So I think it's important to have some form of protection in your home, um, something like you know a shotgun or something. So you know, pretty easy to load. Uh, I can have it on standby. So yeah, King Charles becomes the first British sovereign in history to pose for a commemorative stamp without a crown. King Charles becomes the first monarch to be featured on stamps without a crown. Okay, I just read that. <laughs> I read that again. I don't, know, I don't know what the significance is. Um, you know, some people think that there's a book, uh, Antichrist and a Cup of Tea, uh, that focuses on this Merovingian bloodline that is tied into, you know, the bloodline of the Messiah, the, the Davidic bloodline, what have you. And supposedly Charles may be, Prince Charles may be one of the candidates for being the anti-Messiah to come. I don't know. So 
Charles preparing to assume the crown of the world sovereign known as Antichrist. I don't know. I'm not really sure. I mean, there's a figure named Maitreya that has was has claimed to be the Messiah of all religious traditions. Very mysterious figure. Um, I'm not sure. So we'll see who that per I think it'll be pretty obvious once that person rises to power to rule the world. They have the and Holy Roman Empire is one world government of the disunited nations as their cornerstone of their world empire. They have, you know, the Mark of the Beast technology is already out there. The microchip implant. We already have a full-fledged global economy. You have a the Unholy Roman Empire's One World Religion, the United Religions Initiative, Council for Parliament. Parliament of the World's Religions, the National Council of Churches, World Council of Churches, all these political organizations that have consolidated economic, religious, and political power globally. And, you know, ultimately there's a big push to rebuild the Temple uh, of Solomon in um, on the Temple Mount, where the current Dome of the Rock, stands which ultimately if that was blown up blown into smithereens that's a problem i mean a lot of people would be very extremely upset about that and especially i mean obviously the muslims i mean it's their based on my understanding the place where muhammad rose into heaven supposedly you know the prophet muhammad i'm not a believer in the muslim tradition and i know that for a fact that the one event that could plunge the world into World War Three, or at least in the Middle East, um, all hell would break loose if the Dome of the Rock were were um, annihilated. You know, if the Dome of the Rock was destroyed somehow, hit by some missile or something, I'm not sure. But if that ever happened, that's a problem. But that would need to happen if if people are going to rebuild the uh, the temple. On the Temple Mount, so and that's a fulfillment of ancient prophecy. You know that the Anti Messiah, second letter of Paul to the Thessalonians, talks about the Anti Messiah and and then you know the desecration of the you know sanctuary. So President Biden delivered a State of the Union address full of lies and distortions, so many we can hardly keep track. First Lady appeared at the Grammys last week to present a music award, thus conferring mantle acceptance of the official American government. Long year. Grammy. Hmm. Yeah, this was quite the event. I saw that part of this. The Grammys this week were held in Los Angeles. They also featured a full-on satanic ritual on stage. Uh, their performance in which the Tubby Smith, uh, Sam Smith, uh, who is non-binary, supposedly, in which is a Redonda Satan outfit and a top hat with horns, while Petrus, who is transgender, gyrated in a cage surrounded by Satan costume strippers, uh, made headlines for its transgressive imagery. Shadow President of the U.S. and world's greatest physician, Dr. Jill Biden, showed up to present an award, and CBS tweeted, in anticipation of the satanic routine, we are ready to worship. Wow. Pretty crazy. Defund the police is the rallying cry of Democrat-run cities. I, I can't even imagine the what could happen if, if just police forces were extinct in the in the big cities. I mean, I it's just incomprehensible. I mean, I can't even imagine living in a big city if if the um police forces were non existent. Highest crime rates imaginable are the fruit of such ungodly ideas. Denver is now America's crime capital. Wow. They now put the Maha at the very bottom of the safest cities, ranking at the, jeez, the Colorado model. American families are not so supportive of the deviant lifestyle as we have been led to believe. 
The Grammys wasn't enough for the woke mob. Disney has been led down the woke pathway only to discover woke broke. Disney skips down the go woke, go broke path with new animated divisive cartoon. Once upon a time. Yeah, there was this. I'm sure people have heard about it. It's called Little Demon. There was some kind of animated show with, I think, the girl in the show that was voiced by Aubrey Plaza. And Danny DeVito was in it as well. Was she was some kind of like antichrist or anti messiah uh, character in high school, I, I believe. And it, it's just awful. And and I guess there was like a big backlash because it was on Disney Plus, the streaming service, and a lot of people were just horrified. You know, it was basically trying to normalize Satanism by way of a cartoon. Um, that, you know, obviously targets little children. Uh, well, it's Disney. Uh, Disney always has this fun, family-oriented entertainment. And, well, Disney is indoctrinating your children on a regular basis. <laughs> and it's not good. It's very bad. Very, very bad. And, I mean, Satanism is really everywhere now. It's really sad. So, anyway, I guess they pulled that show because just the crazy backlash. And then, and I have to say, this is that's the amazing thing about them, American people. Um, if they may, if they're upset enough, um, they get things accomplished. You know, if there's enough backlash, you know, shows like that get shut down. You know, people aren't going to watch it. They are going to boycott Disney Plus. They're going to cancel their subscriptions. They're going to, you know, and it forces Disney ends up losing money, and then it forces them to reconsider. Geez, you know, if we we can't continue putting out this kind of material i mean their material is thoroughly occultic in nature i mean if you look at all these old disney films i mean fantasia you know any anything i mean it's all it's all these little witchcraft influences occult influences strewn throughout these you know family oriented shows that are just ridiculous and but they're thoroughly occultic in nature I mean, it's one thing to watch something that has occult components, you know, if you're looking at it in a certain context. You know, if you're looking at it, you know, in a very maybe educated fashion, you can just look at it objectively, not be indoctrinated by it. But, you know, when things are, are set up to target children that are growing up that don't know any better that think oh disney it's all this fun stuff and all these animated cartoon characters and everything's good it's good for you you, you know you can you know it's good to digest this type of material it's it's not you know so parents need to put their foot down and say no you're not you're not gonna watch that and and there's you know same thing with video games you know you need to put your foot down i mean i play different games at times I'm pretty selective and it's hard to kind of get away from some some elements of different games. You know, like for example, like Call of Duty. I like playing Call of Duty, but you could say Call of Duty is extremely violent. Everybody's going around killing everybody else, but you know, I truly believe that, you know, there are righteous types of wars. I feel that what America did in um you know, the British people did, and even the Russians at the time did to stand up against Hitler uh, during World War II was a righteous cause. You know, people were standing up against literally the forces of evil that were attempting to take over the world, and they needed to be stopped. You know, Hitler needed to be terminated. So, you know, I think it was a righteous war, but all the wars since then, I don't think are as righteous at all I mean, vietnam was a complete and total disaster and a total nightmare especially for the people that actually went there and came back and were traumatized from the experience of war that it was really about you know a, a regional conflict north and south vietnam their conflict um, you can see it as a cover for you know the opium trade i don't know but you know, there's 
reasons for for fighting. You know, if there's a righteous cause behind it, I mean, it's it's important to stand up and and um, to stand your ground. If, if if that means militarily, I mean, look at the American Revolution, a completely righteous event historically speaking, which changed the world. I mean, if it wasn't America was the last frontier of the Protestant Reformation. If America fell to the British Empire at that time, then we would not be having this conversation, so to speak. That would be a completely different type of history. People have no idea that don't look at things from a historical perspective how important the American Revolution was and and ultimately the Protestant Reformation, which you know created ultimately the middle class. I mean, before that, you had the lords and the serfs. I mean, it was a feudal society. I mean, you look, people were living in was one extreme or the other. And with the Protestant Reformation, I mean, it was an absolute revolution. I absolutely believe that it was, there was divine intervention at that time, that, but, it, but that it was by the hand of the Most High to dismantle the power of the unholy Roman Empire at that time, which ruled all. Really, the ancient Roman Empire became the unholy Roman Empire. You know, the the Vatican, the the Catholic Church, you know, who you know, performed all these different inquisitions and you name it. I mean, they ruled all. And the popes really were just continuations of this Caesar reality from a, the ancient Roman Empire. But anyway, I think got a little uh, <laughs> off track there. Got a little off track there. But anyway, so... There's some fun video games, I think, you know, and if you if you play them sparingly, it's not a bad thing. I, I don't think if you play them all day long, all night long, you spend your whole life in in VR land with an Oculus headset on 24 seven, then that's a problem. That's a serious problem. Uh, but, you know, everything in moderation, but not everything. I, sorry, I didn't mean to say that I'm not trying to be liberally minded, just. Just saying that, you know, 